a reason to keep recycling this narrative because if you just say it's possible there's a general impeachment inquiry out there, it's not news. And they're recycling this impeachment narrative. Why? Because they don't want to cover pedophile island. Anything the media can do, whatever they can do, just don't talk about pedophile island. (laughs) So context while we talk about impeachment a little bit here. Yeah. A lot of folks have, have, not that many, honestly, but some people have asked why we don't cover the impeachment, I guess, yeah. we wouldn't say proceedings, just the, the whole impeachment the story bottom. more. Um, sometimes people say like, is it, is it, you know, you've seen these comments, is it because you don't want or anything critical of right. your boy Trump? First of all, I say, my, my boy? Your boy? Your boy? Yeah, what, you know, your boy? With two eyes? My boy? <laughs> but Trump's my boy. <laughs> like, what does that even mean, my boy? He's the president don't, of the United States. You're white. <laughs> what, what, what are you, the, uh, the, 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 the guy in charge of the people on the railroad tracks at Cool Hand Luke? Now nah, listen here, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. You have a oh, failure boy. to communicate the impeachment proceedings. Eh, go screw yourself. Um, so here's why. Let me explain why here really quickly. And Hop, I don't know if you have the long shot. Hopper keeps pacing back and forth he does. here today. He does not Nervous. like it. He's like, this impeachment he bo- The yeah. impeachment is bullshit. Um, <laughs> there's nothing new. This is the truth. There's nothing new to report. We did a whole segment on impeachment a while back. Uh, nothing new has happened. And it's it's remarkable because usually September, October, November, we've talked about this uh, half Asian bill. Yep. These are the fast times for the news. Yeah, it's right, a faster yeah. news cycle. And then it sort of breaks between mm-hmm. Thanksgiving and Christmas, which should tell you that news is manipulated. If all of a sudden oh, between yeah. two American well, holidays, nothing, happens. nothing really happens. <laughs> but for some reason, September, October, uh, and, and this far November, they have not... There's, there's nothing going on. And so they're, they're kind of slowing down their own news cycle by continually covering yes. impeachment. And I want yeah. to be clear here, this is a long montage because I want there to be no doubt. The media has been claiming really for years at this point, but certainly the last few months, the last several quarters, you know, where you've yeah. had record economic growth. So mm-hmm. there you go, you can see How that parallel. Um, <laughs> that he is, and I don't just want to, t- I know I saw MRC did a great montage of them uh, talking, the media talking about impeachment. But what I want to specifically address is they have been saying now for over a year that Removal from office is imminent, right? And that's why people, the story yeah. catches up. It's like, well, this time he's going to be impeached. If you don't believe me, don't take my word for it. On a momentous day. The walls closing in on Jeez. President Donald Trump. The walls are closing in. It feels as if we're getting closer and closer to the truth. It must feel as if this is closing in on him. Folks, Donald Trump is clearly losing it. It feels like the walls are closing in. Oh, he had the sounder? I bet your butt oh I did. Gosh. <clears throat> it's related, trust me. Impeachment is happening. And they are oh. going to impeach him. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a think that's a foregone no. conclusion. At some point in the future, Donald Trump will no longer be president of the United States. I mean, that's technically not a lie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. Look, they actually have the applause sign. If this isn't impeachable, what is? Well, we know that it's... Completely Jason Priestley's age poorly. <laughs> yeah, the impeachment will prove devastating to Donald Trump. No. And uh, he will not survive it. The only yes. out that the president will have, the only out, this is guy? to resign the office. <laughs> really? Yeah. I have no idea when that day will come. I think it'll probably happen before Christmas <laughs> or eight. slightly after. It looks like Trump could be impeached sometime around the holidays. And Charles, will you believe that actually President Trump will what, resign or be forced out in the next 12 months? Yes, I do, actually. Ding, 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 ding. We got a winner. Now is when we uh, <laughs> can't talk about impeachment. Would the market crash if Trump were impeached? No, the president cannot pardon himself to avoid impeachment. Stop the, the hammering. In order to save his family and himself, <laughs> will resign, pardon the children, and get pardoned by Mike Pence. Uh, very much like Richard Nixon was. The president cannot pardon the vice president to avoid impeachment. In 2014, Donald Trump tweeted, Is he crying? Are you allowed to impeach a president for gross incompetence? Don't Please do like not give the somebody. president any, <laughs> any <laughs> ideas. But you know, yeah, oh and it's the same. Well, I guess we're about to find out. The tiptoeing is over. The whispers are turning into shouts. <laughs> President Trump's fitness for office is now the top story in the country. Donald Trump's done. Country. He's done. There's no question also, about that. Still tweets. He's done. After two not years done, of avoiding done. it, Trump may finally face articles of impeachment. Trump is goading us to impeach him. One of the organizations that launched she the looks like impeach the witch Donald from the, Trump uh, the now Kevin campaign Costner just moments Robin after Hood. Trump's yes. inauguguration. Yes. That's, that's what'll end Trump. Cut. What this moment needs from reporters is more reporting. 
On a day any any kind of reporting <laughs> at all. Yeah, Bell. Impeaching Donald Trump implicitly implying less, that he is one of them. Looks less hypothetical right. yeah. than ever. Not more speculating or guessing. Wait, he's or he's asking for real reporters more, to do yeah, some work, not himself. Of what's going on. I'm going to say. I don't have the budget. It was all on spent a day on plugs that when didn't work. the president of the United <laughs> States is actually a valid topic. Watching President oh Trump, you have the sense of someone caught Looks like in a, a Jim Hansen ca character that stayed in the creature shop. Get out too long. The deeper in he gets. So too how do you see this ending now? Does it end at the ballot box in a year? Fired. Does he make it to a second term? Does he resign oh. as a result of impeachment? I said it weeks ago. I'm yeah. going to say it again. Mr. Trump will not serve out his term. President. No way. Know how he will be forced to ultimately resign. This week, Tony Schwartz said it very authoritatively. The circle is closing. It's never been from jail. Winding yeah, speed. Trump is going to resign and declare victory before Mueller and Congress leave him no choice. Trump's presidency is effectively over. Would be amazed if he survives till the end of the year. More likely resigns by fall, if not sooner. We'll put the cover back up. <laughs> I, I, that is liberal catnip. You can't tell me that <laughs> anyone honest. can pass by that. <laughs> that book they should just like, start printing the best seller list now. Put it, it's number one. Paperback. That is number one right now. And impeachment begins. We win. Okay, so nope. it's like catnip for. And hack clones. <laughs> <laughs> it is just. Oh my god! And I wanted to. Yay. I almost wanted to put timestamps on it. It was going yeah. to take too much work. Thank you so much to our our P. Uh, Gibby who put it on. Of course, Reg. Yeah. Like, I, here's. This is so important that they they are saying it's imminent. This is really clear. I want to be clear about this. It's yeah. not just saying, well, could he be impeached? Like George W. Bush, they wanted to impeach. Right. They have consistently been. If you watch CNN for 24 hours, and I'm never doing a 16 hour don't, live stream again. We're gonna do a special Christmas dare. show, I'm not please, doing that. Please, that no. broke me mentally. I'd we, rather be waterboarded by Tim Kennedy all day, er day. I hurt, I hurt with that. All day, er, two day. hours, er day. Er day, which means every, you know he's serious. just in case. Because you will see when you watch CNN for 24, any 24 hour cycle, breaking. There's like, ah, impeachment mm -hmm. is imminent. Yeah. And of course, if you watch the Young Turks, you get eye cancer. So, <laughs> and the reason, by the way, the sure reason how, they keep recycling this narrative, true. because if you just say it's possible, there's a general impeachment I inquiry out there, it's not news. Right. You don't need to break your news cycle for that. That's why they consistently have to claim, no, no, it's going down today, it's happening, it's like a f school fight. Today, at yeah. the bike racks. Three o'clock, here we go. And they're recycling this impeachment narrative, why? Because they don't want to cover Pedophile Island. Oh. We saw that with Sienna. Amy Robach, go back to our interview with James yeah. O'Keefe. Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein, known pedophile. Ped he had a pedophile island. Was a sex ring trafficker, Crazy. a leader of a sex. He was a sex trafficker who had a ring. I don't know if it's a sex trafficking ring. That seems appropriate. That seems right, yeah. The point is anything the media can do, whatever they can do, just don't talk about Pedophile Island. <laughs> can we try out Aaron Brockovich to talk about tap water or some <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some chromium somewhere. To give you an idea, if it's not impeachment, have you just, if it's not impeachment, right. There's always it, something else. Well, there, there really isn't though, because do you want? Let me prove this to Nothing you. Nothing meaningful. Nothing meaningful. Exactly. Nothing meaningful. Case in point, Brian Stelter <laughs> literally did an entire, and I'm not saying literally like millennials do, like figuratively, because yeah. you're going to see literally did an entire segment no. when he wasn't talking about impeachment. Brian <laughs> Stelter this week when he wasn't doing impeachment, an entire segment counting President Trump's typos. But I've never seen anyone do a comprehensive study of his spelling errors. For a reason. Yeah, mean. yeah so no idea why. That's where There's fact -based a reason for that. <laughs> Factbase is this excellent website that has every single word the president says, some other politicians as well. It looks at all of Trump's tweets, even the deleted ones, for this database of typos and other screw ups. Okay, he could have introduced that segment literally saying, uh, I've never seen anybody else waste this much of your time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hard-hitting news. There's I've never seen anyone do an entire segment on Trump's tweets, no. which, by the way, I'm pretty sure they have. You get, it's like, I've never seen anyone do an entire segment on the African uh, squirrel's nut-gathering patterns in relation to climate change, so we're going to do a special! <laughs> a two-hour two hours, yeah. marathon. Hey, Brian two. Stelter. That's all you need. I mean, Stay puff. Yeah. we've done the segment, but I just, I don't get it. Like, I, there are people I disagree with that I yes. understand. Like, Anderson Cooper, I don't agree with him, but I get it. He's a good newscaster. Chris Cuomo, I can't stand, but he has the right connection. At least he's got a face for television. Like, I kind of get it. If you tune into whatever, even some women on The View, you understand that they can kind of do the cackling back and forth. There's some kind of value there. No, Brian Stelter, he's a, he's a talentless, formerly gap tooth, bald, fat f that seems really gay, gets every single story wrong. It's like a Rubik's Cube that I can never figure out. Like, I want to bring in a Japanese kid to tell me how to do it. And maybe, the, and I, I get that that's ad hominem. I don't know, maybe that's the brilliance of Brian Stelter. He makes himself <laughs> seem 
to have such little, if any, redeeming qualities as a human being that the only criticism of him can be ad hominem and he can play victim. Maybe that's his strategy. Good for you, Brian Seltzer. 8D chess, man. One for you. He's playing 8D. I'm playing 8D chess. <laughs> These oh, people, they will, they will cover anything on Trump if it's negative, yeah. even if it's not newsworthy. And I just don't see the purpose of covering something until it's relevant here. And I want to be yeah. clear about this. Like when there's a terrorist attack, we always, best practice is we mm -hmm. try to wait. Or if there's a shooting, wait for a little bit of information because we're not really beholden to having the exclusive scoop no, because yeah. this is an entertainment show. We don't and want we to give people wrong information. We don't want to yeah. give people wrong information. Well, not only are they proven wrong verifiably over and over on Trump's impeachment. Th their own narrative keeps changing, right? Yeah. So first it was he was going to be impeached because of the Russian collusion. Yep. Mueller report found none. Yeah, an incredibly extensive investigation turning up every stone right. and found nothing. So they're like, well, then we got to find something else. Yeah. I got to find something else because they have to do real reporting, guys. <laughs> and everybody thought that was something. the My thing. wife was the one who told me I have to do it. <laughs> And we already said the Mueller report was going to end him, so it I better. was like, sweetheart, who I think is beautiful and I have sex with all the time, what should I cover? And she was like, impeachment. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ad hominem. I get, that's the brilliance of Brian Stelter. It's all that's left. That's, that's good. That's good. There's nothing to hit. I wish I loved anything as much as he loved faking being straight. So <laughs> then after Russian collusion, it was he'd be, uh -huh. Donald Trump would be impeached because of the Ukrainian quid pro quo. Called their bluff, President Trump did yeah. release a transcript, turned out to be nothing. Baller. So then, <laughs> the Democrats, Dope. they don't want the whistleblowers to appear, right? They don't want them actually appear, they just want it to be anonymous, but they continue yeah. to contradict the official transcript, and they say that there was some funny business going on. Of course, no identities are being released as far as the whistleblowers, and they're not testifying. With the Democrats, and I understand we'll get into whistleblower laws and protecting anonymous sources, but with the Democrats in the media, it's always an anonymous yes. source yeah. that has all the info. That's the concern. You should just pepper it in every now and then with something verifiable. And here's something else, too, I do want to talk about, uh, go to Bill here really quickly because Rand Paul talked about this, you know, the right to face your accuser, sure. right? Now that's in a, in a criminal uh, case. Right. And in this case, it's not a criminal trial, but they are uh, uh, making criminal accusations. So right. how does that... So the, that's one context to that is important that articles of impeachment aren't limited to just crimes. They, they right. There is just a general kind of bad acts umbrella that could be used for articles of impeachment, which is this, you know, relatively new and gray area about where you're going to be able to answer the questions. But I think the, the most important part would be, why do we have in the criminal system the right to face your accuser? It's because when faced with the harsh reality and light and the strict questioning people's stories will either stick if they're true or they won't right and here yeah. that is the point if there is a whistleblower and the whistleblower has allegations the allegations are true then the whistleblower should have certainly there will be consequences i'm yep. sure but sh there should be that ability to allow the highest office in the land to be able to address those accusations i, I, I will say this i don't understand the world in which the i understand that there is some great territory with this law and that's what i wanted to, sure. to get your take on yeah. but what i don't understand is the world that the left lives in where someone can come forward completely yeah. anonymous with no evidence at this point and yeah. something that contra evidence or whatever claims that contradict their previous claims never face the music never appear in court we don't know who they are and the pre the president gets impeached like I, yeah. I don't understand the game that they want to play you think he's going to be impeached <laughs> do i think those? the articles will come yeah Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I think they that. will yeah. and i think i think they will because of the showmanship that needs to go into it mm -hmm. as opposed yeah. to a legitimate basis right because right. there's remember it's it's we say this all the time anyone can file a lawsuit for any reason it's it's the next question because right. there's no gatekeeper saying at the courthouse steps well let me read this first and decide right. if we're going to let it in similarly even though there are procedures in place that will require them to jump you know kind of hoops to jump through to be able to have the articles of impeachment again and again and again we keep hearing the cry wolf is yeah. is it is it two years ago that he was getting impeached immediately how about 18 months ago no, yeah. no, 12 months ago six months ago. i mean at some point you just say look if you've got it show it yeah. yeah at some point yeah at some point it would make their case a little strong make it easier it for them and it would also make it easier for me so i would wouldn't have to read your stupid questions about why I'm not covering impeachment. <laughs> this is exactly why. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Now, if the articles are brought forward, if there's an impeachment, absolutely we'll right. be covering yeah. it. But at this point, it's just people going, oh, wait, wait, no, no. he's going to be impeached now. No, 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 no. When is then? Now, soon. <laughs> Free crab tomorrow. In, in, uh, in, and here's something else, too, that I, I haven't heard anyone else talk about this. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily original, but it, with all the recent, uh, recent impeachment hysteria, right, uh, now it's been about the Ukraine. Yeah. Has anyone stopped to consider the massive contradiction? 
Mm. First, it was going to be impeachment because of Russian collusion, and that didn't work. And now it's the Ukraine. And by the way, Ukrainian officials, uh, I don't know if it's a, the president, prime minister, several of the higher up officials have said that Donald Trump did not pressure them. Right. Right. The Democrats said that they're lying and they're just trying to make Trump look good. I don't know if you know this. But Ukraine and Russia are mortal enemies. They don't like oh. each other at all. It's not, I mean, stuff. this is pretty recent, right? Yeah. Uh, 2014 things. was Russia, the, the, the annex uh, with, with uh, the Crimea and Crimea, all that stuff. Yeah. Crimea, however you pronounce it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't watch Russia today because I'm not a Putin puppet. Sorry. <laughs> but ever since then, the relations between Ukraine and Russia have been extremely tense. As of right now, by the way, they have no diplomatic relations. Right. Ukrainians have officially recommended that citizens don't even travel to Russia at all. And they've even banned some Russian television stations. And uh, by the way, though the Kremlin won't admit it, it looks like they've been sending in troops to aid the pro-Russian rebels in their efforts. 10,000 people have died so far wow, nice. in the conflict. Wow. So if Donald Trump was really Putin's stooge, which they're still claiming, by the way, the right. media, why would Ukrainian presidents or prime ministers carry the water for Trump? If he is a plant for Russia, they would have every incentive to expose and damage Donald Trump as much as possible because they hate Putin. Right? They yeah. hate Russia. It's like the moon landing conspiracy. And I don't want to get, I know people are going to, uh, and that's just, you can already hear the shut comments. Up. No, no. The <laughs> point is, sorry, Hopper's upset because I was talking about Brian Stelter and he saw the clip. The moon landing situation, the reason I want to go on a second, if the moon landing was faked, we believe that all world governments are in on it together. The Russians, who wanted to get to the moon first, would have every incentive to release to the public that the United States faked the moon landing because they'd want to embarrass us. Right. The same thing with, the U with Ukraine. I guess you don't say the anymore. They dropped the That's the. Insane. With Ukraine, they would <laughs> have Ukraine. every reason in the world to try and hang Donald Trump out to dry if he was a Putin puppet. And by the way, here's something that's not debatable. Okay, we have to go to Donald Trump Jr. in a second. Yeah. But this is something that is not up for debate, and I rarely say that. It's not like like Samantha Bee or Young Turks or Chelsea Ender are like, listen, that's a fact, it's not up for debate. <laughs> I don't do that very often. In this case, <laughs> I will say it. Google. I will put my stamp on it. If you believe the mainstream media and you really, really hate President Trump, you, ha you still have to pick. Either President Trump is a puppet for Putin or he's working quid pro quo with his buddies in Ukraine. It has to be one or the other, yeah. period. But the media and the Democratic National Committee, they want to impeach him for both. What does that tell you about the legitimacy of these claims? Hey there, YouTube viewers. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you're already subscribed to this channel because that lets you know when new videos come out and they don't show up on the YouTube search feed. Also, there are videos playing in boxes here. Click one of those. Just of all the things that I just mentioned, all you have to do is one. And if you don't, I will run for the United States presidency under the 1,064th one, 1, percent Cherokee party. I have yet to pick my VP.